Good morning, everybody. I hope you have had a fantastic week, as always. Um, this week's book is called When God Was a Little Girl by David R. Weiss, and I have heard so many good things about this book, so I'm really excited to get to read it with you guys. So I think we should just jump right into it. Story, Daddy. It's a long car ride from Madison, Wisconsin to Decorah, Iowa, and a good story always helps the miles fly by. What kind of story? Um, tell me a story about when God was a little girl, she announced, her eyes twinkling with this divine little twist. When God was a little girl, she liked art projects. Art projects, Susanna echoed in delight from the back seat. Yes, art projects. She likes to do art projects just like you do, which is a good thing because that's how the world came to be. Really? Really. Let me tell you about it. there was only God. Nothing else was made yet. Daddy, wait. Was God lonely? Lonely? Let's see. When you're lonely, do you smile and giggle? No. Well, then I don't think God was lonely, because already, before anything was made, she was giggling. Giggling? Yep. Giggling. Because she was imagining all the things that she was going to make, and her imagination tickled her heart the way a feather tickles your ear. Then her giggling quieted to a soft hum as she got ready to create. I bet she's going to sing. Exactly. Started out, she started out humming so the tune would be just right when she sang the first word. And as she sang each word, it was like she dipped her brush in paint, just like me. And whatever she sang, she could see just as clearly as when you paint me a picture. And the first word she sang softly but very clear was love. And the love looked like, mmm, darkness. It was all dark. Ah, midnight blue, the color of the sky in the middle of the night. The deepest blue you can imagine, even darker than black. Why do you think love was that color? Because, Daddy, that's just like love. It's there, even when you can't see it. Love always finds you in the darkness, and when it holds you close, you know you're home. How sweet is that? Oh my goodness. That's beautiful, darling. So, before anything else was made, there was love. Love, like deep, dark blue, has always been there. Yep, love was what God felt when she was giggling, and love was the first color God painted when she sang. Next, God sang so loud she almost startled herself. Light! and bright yellow and white went splashing everywhere, like sunshine rushing through the windshield so bright you can hardly see. So bright that even God had to squint. So she took a bunch of the light, rolled it into a ball, and threw it in the sky, singing, Sun. Then she took another bunch of light and made another ball. And when she tossed this one into the sky, she sang its name like the sound of a lullaby, Moon. And then, Susanna, God got off the glue. The glue? Yes, and the glitter. Because after the two big balls of light, mostly all that was left were little bits of shining light here and there. So God squeezed out some glue onto her paper, except her paper was the sky. And she tossed the glitter bits up until they stuck in twinkling patterns all across the sky. Stars! Yes, and that's just how she sounded when she sang their name to them. lots of words for a long time. She sang earth and cold grays and warm browns and hot reds, painted rocks and dirt and sand. Oh, and God sang 
water and she laughed out loud because all kinds of blue were splashing around making big and small puddles everywhere. God sang green and the earth and water and sun and love, they all danced together while God sang. And the green was like the sunflower seeds and bean seeds you helped me plant in the garden. God grew grass and bushes and trees and flowers of every color. God grew a great big garden, just like we do. Just like we do. It was a very pretty picture God painted, don't you think? Yes. What do you suppose she did next? Well, I don't know. Yes, you do. What do you do when you make pictures? I give them to you. And that's just what God did. God made someone to share the picture with. Someone who could giggle next to God at how pretty everything was. Who? Us. God took some earth and made us. She found the softest, nicest smelling earth. The earth that comes from plants when they turn back into dirt. And she called this earth... Well, hummus? Hummus? I'm not sure how to say that. I'm sorry. And she rolled the hummus between her fingers just like when you play with clay. So when she smiled and giggled and she made hummus beings, bunches of them. And each one was a little different. Some were the color of deep, dark dirt. Some looked like the pale sand on the beach. Some were boys and some were girls. Some were taller, some were shorter. Some were thin, some were round. And God thought they all looked just right. And she sang to them that they were human beings. Then God set them in a big circle and asked, What do you think? They all looked at the garden and each other and they said, This is good. And you know what God said? What? God said, thanks, but I'm not done singing yet. And while the human beings watched wide-eyed, God sang, I know. And her song painted every type of animal. Then she said with a big grin, you can't have a party without lots of company. And she invited the human beings to help her, saying, now it's your turn to sing. Your special job in the garden is to be echoes of me. I made the animals with my singing. You get to name them with your singing. And then God explained, this is how you become friends with everything in the garden. See, it's a great big song. When you name each animal, and the plants too, you can hear how all the notes fit together. Speaking of animals, if you hear noise in the background, it's because my two dogs are listening to the story as well. They kind of like it. So all afternoon, God listened while the human beings sang names to every plant and animal in the garden and learned in a great big song that mixed all the notes together. It sounded like the rainbow. The rainbow? The rainbow, Daddy. Because as they named each animal, the words fit together just like the colors in the rainbow. They made the whole picture look most beautiful. And as the sun set, God yawned, like little girls do when they're tuckered out by big art projects. And she said, let's all take a nap. We'll have the party tomorrow. And so they did, triumphantly. And that's what happened when God was a little girl. Daddy, did it really happen like that? Sure it did. It always happens just like the stories say, even when the stories tell it differently each time. Daddy came a sleepy voice from behind me. I love you. I love you too, Susanna. I love you too. Oh, there's more. We pulled up to the house, and as I carried this sleeping bundle of trust inside, I whispered in her ear, and Susanna, when God was a little girl, that's what she said to each of us before the party began. She said, I love you. 
God made us to be little echoes of the giggles that she felt already, before there was anything at all. And when we live as the echo of God, we say, I love you, right back to her, and to everything else, just like I did to you. And from somewhere in her dreams, a little voice smiled up to me. I know, Daddy. That's why I asked you to tell me a story. And that is the end. Oh my goodness, how awesome was that? I have never thought of God making the earth as an art project. I think that is such a cool way to tell that story. Um, I would love to know what you guys thought. As always, go ahead and let me know here or just talk to the people around you. I love that. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I did leave this pumpkin next to me so I would remember tomorrow, that would be Tuesday, um, we are going to carve or paint pumpkins on Zoom. So I would love if you would join us tomorrow at 6.30. Um, Jonathan's going to be painting and I'm going to be carving. I cannot promise that it's going to turn out well, but we're going to try. Um, other than that, have a great week. Uh, you are missed, you are loved, and I will see you next time. Bye.